Hi guys and welcome to the channel and to my base review series where we find the best bases throughout the world, test them out in the Legend League, review them and then give them a score out of 10 and here's the base we're going to be reviewing today. It was suggested by one of my subscribers, Don John Craig. Remember guys, if you've got any bases out there you'd like me to review, just put them in the video comments, put the base layout link there and I'll try my best. So thanks Don John, this base has performed really well in the Legend League. We're going to check out some awesome replays in a moment where you can see this base in action. If you are impressed and you do want to download it and try it yourself it's easy just head on over to the video description click on that base layout link and kaboom the base will appear on your device just like that and guys remember if you do want to see the ladies and greats base designs reviews and clash of clans guides hit that subscribe button and join the samus army as we hit 15,000 subscribers yes also guys we've got channel memberships so if you do want sort of early access to all the news going on within the Sir Moose channel and an awesome badge next to your name consider joining yes Town Hall 13's on the horizon amazing stuff coming up anyway let's go and check out how this base did in the Legend League so here's my Legend League defence log guys over a two day period in the Legend League we had 15 attacks against the base of those 15 attacks Two were zero star attacks, four were one star attacks, seven were two star attacks, and two were three star attacks. So it was sort of all or nothing, wasn't it? Two three star attacks and two zero star attacks. That is pretty crazy. I was really impressed with the base overall. I thought it caused a lot of problems for our attackers. So we're going to jump in. Let's pick a replay to look at. We've got a couple of zero stars to choose from. Let's go with this one here. Beautiful. So we've got some giants. Healers, peckers, three minions, why not? And a lot of bowlers. Yeah. So with this base, it is a bit of a island base, but with a twist, I guess. Later on, on the second day, I did uh, turn a couple of the Inferno Towers from multi to single. So I was running with two single target Infernos and one multi, and I found the base performs a lot better on the second day. But anyway, let's carry on with the replay here. We're going with a little bit of a bowler funnel with some healers. Unconventional but I like it. Giants in the middle, then the Wrecker. Then the rest of the bowlers in a nice orderly line. Giant flung into the air. Beautiful. And now the heroes. Everybody. That Wrecker's making a nice little hole in the wall, but everybody's saying, no, we're not going to follow you in there. You're going to go and do your own thing. And then all these troops, or the majority of the troops are going left and being taken out by my beautiful Clan Castle troops. The, the witches down there. Uh, yeah. But they've just been poisoned, but the damage is done. Look at that Wrecker rolling to its death by itself. Out come the Ice Golem and the Pecker, far from home. A couple of healers say, listen, we're going to help you. Let's go and help. But it's already too late. The damage has been done to the attack. The Town Hall is not going down. Somebody's getting Inferno. That Pecker is getting inferno there. Too late, I'm afraid, for any kind of salvage for this attack. We've all done it, guys. Well, I have anyway. Zero star attacks. Never good. Never good. It always makes me feel a little bit sick. And I have to go and lie down if I get a zero star attack. But uh, thankfully, it doesn't happen too often. Or, at the very least, I don't show you, do I? Anyway, Ground Warden's left. He's after uh, my king. And, yeah, good night. GW. 28 seconds left. What's going on? Oh, these minions I talked about earlier. Yes, let's watch them take out this gold storage. Beautiful footage there. Going to win some awards for that. Nice attack. Right, let's go and check out another attack then, guys. So on to the next victim, Mr. Bat. What are you doing? E drags. Looks like a standard attack so far. Yeah, a bit of funneling going on. Guys, place your bets. What is our attacker going to leave the base with? Will it be one star, zero star, two stars, or three stars, or four stars? You don't know, do you? And I'm not going to tell you. Let's have a look here. Look at that, the bats. The bats are in very early. I've never seen bats going in quite so early. Magnificent there. Town Hall under attack, but it's been activated. Those bats are really having a torrid time getting pushed back and Tesla to death. Guys, if you looked at the timer, you'll realise this is a really, really short replay, which can mean only one thing, a disastrous result for the attack. I don't even know what's happened to all the troops. Did he even deploy them all? I don't. I should go back and check. I don't even know if it was a full army. But all I do know 
is it was a zero star attack. Just that pecker left. Ten seconds. Yeah, we have bad days. We all have bad days, guys. Just remember that. Myself included. That was over quickly. I think it was a full army composition. Anyway, I'm not going back to check. It's live. Next attack, who have we got here? Yeah, we got some healers, witches, bowlers, ice golems. Guys, how do you think this one is going to go? I'm not going to tell you again either. I am liking this base. I know it's had two three-star attacks against it, but after I changed a couple of those Inferno Towers to single, as you can see on this replay here, the one on the top and the right there, people really, really struggled. Uh, the compartments... Any kind of queen walk is going to struggle a little bit there. It's quite, it needs quite a bit of planning to make a queen walk successful. And uh, what's going on here? Sorry, guys, getting sidetracked there. Somebody's been Inferno. That single target is locked on. Is it on the wrecker? I don't know. It's been frozen. So a bowler, three bowlers ejected via a spring trap. Magnificent. King's in there. He's been raged. Town Hall is down. But there's all these compartments, and they're all sort of within zones where the troops can get hit. And look, the Queen's been infernoed as well. This is, again, not looking good. Look at the low percentage that people get against his base. 27, 28, 29, 30. You know, and out come the Clan Castle troops just to m make matters worse. Just when you think you can't get any anything else can go wrong you're aiming for your two stars and out come a haggle of witches and there we go so queen is in that little pocket there being healed just got triple mortared that had to hurt and now the skeletons are on her she is oh she took out my witch that was uncalled for now a triple ea Boom! 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 Uh, yes! I did promise some uh, special effect replay noises there. There's one for you. Boom, boom, boom. Good. No, not good night yet. Good night. There we go. And there's the replay over, guys. So let's go back. Summarise the base and give it a score out of 10. So yeah, mixed bag. Don't really have many bases like this where you get a couple of three stars against it and a couple of zero stars and four one stars. I definitely suggest giving this base a go. See how you get on. Once again, thank you to Don John Craig for suggesting the base. If you've got any bases you want me to review, put them in the video comments. Let me know, guys. Uh, today, after its performance, it's a stunning looking base as well. I'm going to be giving this base 8 out of 10. A solid addition to the Sir Moose Finest playlist. That's a playlist, guys, by the way, with all the top bases that I review that get over 8 out of 10. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed, by the way, hit that subscribe button and join the Sir Moose Army. This is me signing out, guys. It's been a pleasure as always. Remember, when you get up in the morning, practice your funneling. It's imperative to be a good attacker. And when you get home at night, just before bed, do some press-ups and then practice your funneling again. Three sets of funneling in a day should be enough. So Moose signing out. Catch you later. Thanks, guys.